Hello, I'm Pastor Joe, and I do want to begin by apologizing for my messy desk and my messy office. But more importantly, what I want to do is welcome you to Two Minute Tuesdays Together. Now, today we're going to continue our conversation of exploring and talking about some of the leaders of the Reformation. And if you saw last week's video, you know that we began looking at the Reformation in England and our focus was on King Henry VIII and how his desire to have his marriage annulled led to a break with the Roman Catholic Church and the establishment of the, uh, the Church of England. Well, we're going to continue a little bit in that theme today. We're going to be looking at uh, Thomas Cranmer. So let's get two minutes on the clock. Thomas Cranmer was born in 1489. He then studied at Cambridge University, and then he went on to become fellow at Jesus College. Now, he was ordained in 1523, and then, not insignificantly, he was appointed by King Henry VIII uh, in 1532 as Archbishop of Canterbury. Now, one of the things that he believed in or that he supported, he supported actually Thomas Cromwell in this, was the um, royal supremacy. And this was a belief that the king uh, was sovereign over the church under his, uh, under his reign. He also was very instrumental in changing some very important doctrine, doctrines within the, uh, related to the Lord's Supper, to clerical celibacy, and to the use of images and worship. Now, um, Thomas Cranmer served as Archbishop of Canterbury through a couple of different kings, but when Mary I came to power, she's also known as Mary Tudor, this all changed because Mary was Catholic, and so she returned England back to uh, Roman Catholicism, and she had Cranmer put on trial for treason and heresy. Now, he was imprisoned for over two years, and under this, during this time, he faced tremendous pressure from church authorities, and so he recanted many of his beliefs. And he also is said to have reconciled himself back with the Roman Catholic Church. Now, this should have absolved him, but Mary wanted him executed. And so he was burned at the stake on March 21st, 1556. And it is noted that on the day of his uh, execution, he withdrew many of his uh, recantations. And so according to the Roman Catholic Church, he died a heretic. But according to the uh, reform movement, particularly in England, Thomas Cranmer died a um, martyr's death. Well, look, I hope you have found this interesting. I hope that this has been helpful in understanding some of the movement within the uh, uh, Reformation. And if you like this video, please do three things for me. Hit like, hit share, and subscribe to my channel.